coming at you with a fresh haircut for today's video. Uh, I want to talk about one thing that has a major impact on our gut health and it's not food, okay? Obviously there's loads of things that can affect our gut health. This one uh, people don't realize and it's really powerful and when you know why it affects your gut, it's really fascinating and that helps to uh, make you want to do it more. Just quickly, my name is Joe. We work with clients on an individual level online to help them resolve their gut issues in a way where they can still eat foods they enjoy, but we don't sabotage any progress. So when we talk about gut health, a lot of people, you know, they talk about sipping kombucha and having fermented foods and taking the newest probiotic, fiber supplements, blah, blah, blah. In reality, these are things that like help you 1% of the way. So, and people are, are so focused on them, even though there's such a tiny piece of the pie. Uh, I liken it to, um, if there's something wrong with your car, like with the engine, you go to the mechanic, and the mechanic's like, all right, yeah, I can fix your car. And they change the, the tires, and they clean the mirrors, uh, and they give it back, and you're like, okay, well, technically the car has been improved. Uh, it's still dog shit, right? It's still broken. The engine doesn't work. When, when people are going for probiotics and fermented foods and stuff, you're really focusing on, on the mirrors and, and the wheels. You're not actually getting to the, the crux of the problem. And so the aspect that I want to talk about today, as with a lot of science in, with the gut microbiome and, and that aspect, um, it's, it's very new research, but it does show that consistent or frequent um, cardiovascular activity and exercise is really good for your gut health. Specifically, it's thought that uh, exercise helps the gut produce butyrate, which is a short chain fatty acid and, and a nutrient that we need for good health. And it's thought to improve the diversity of uh, the gut microbiome, these, all these species um, that live in your, your gut, your large intestine, uh, it's thought to Im improve the diversity by about 20%. And so this is a really cool part. Unlike the, the majority of cells in your body, they, we use glucose for energy. Now cells in the lining of your digestive tract, particularly the gut, they use butyrate, this short chain fatty acid, uh, for the primary source of energy. And so the theory is that the gut functions better with more butyrate. Uh, it protects the, the gut lining. And so if, you, if you've got a leaky gut or you know, it is increased intestinal permeability. It's a real thing. If you have that, then it's thought that uh, increased butyrate uh, will help uh, manage that. Now, and just remember that uh, leaky gut is, is the, the layman's terms, I suppose, for increased intestinal permeability. So the, the, um, the gut lining allowing particles from your digestive tract into the blood. It's not the cause of your problems. Leaky gut does not cause your issues, it is a symptom of your food intolerance or other issues. So just wanted to, to clarify that it's, it's not the cause, it's a symptom. Butyrate also appears to have an anti-inflammatory effect. So it uh, seems to reduce oxidative stress and the damage done by free radicals. So more butyrate is thought to equal um, less inflammation. And so how do we increase butyrate in our system? Well, first thing is of course, eating prebiotic fibers. Um, this is what a bacteria will ferment these and produce um, the short chain fatty acid uh, as the, the outcome of that process. And the second thing appears to be cardiovascular exercise. And it can be as simple as like 10, 15 minutes of like interval training. Uh, it's shown to be just as effective uh, as you know, 50 minutes of prolonged continuous exercise. So yeah, one of those really good ways is to actually increase your um, cardiovascular exercise, something that really gets your heart rate up. It's pretty cool, because like that means like running, for example, can help produce these short chain fatty acids that um, we can use as energy and that protect uh, the lining of the gut. Before you go, I have a free guide for you, a beat bloating guide where I outline um, some other tips and strategies just like this. So if you want that, please comment bloat in the comments below and I will send you a message um, to access that. And of course, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up or a heart and I will speak to you next time.